Dr. David Vanderpool is a trauma surgeon by trade who specializes in tropical medicine for the developing world. He joins us today from Haiti to talk about Live Beyond, a humanitarian and ministry organization. Welcome to The Harvest Show, Dr. Vanderpool. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. While wow, you were talking about being there in Haiti just before the show, and I remember covering Haiti during the earthquake. What is your background in humanitarian medical relief? Because I'd imagine it came in good use. You know, we've been very blessed. Uh, we've been doing this kind of work for about 20 years. Uh, we've worked in 14 countries worldwide, uh, all uh, the extremely impoverished countries who suffered some form of natural or man-made disaster, whether it's an earthquake or whether it's post-conflict. Uh, and as a trauma surgeon, my skill set uh, can come in pretty handy. And so basically we've gone into these countries, provided medical care, clean water, and nutritional support uh, in the acute phase after the emergency, and then done uh, more development type work uh, after uh, being in country for several years. And so that's what we're doing here in Haiti. I'd imagine that a lot of people would select or missionaries would choose to go to developing or countries that are already developed to share the good news of Jesus Christ. How does your faith affect or inspire your work? Well, you know, we couldn't do this without faith. Mm -hmm. uh, it's much, much too difficult. <laughs> so uh, we, our faith is, uh, has been tested quite often, usually on a daily basis, and we're grateful for that because it makes us stronger. You know, there's very little electricity here. Uh, there is uh, very little clean water, uh, almost no sewage system. And so these folks need so much. And we believe that Jesus uh, went into the world and he provided for people's needs and then he provided for them spiritually. And so we're seeing a great effect, great result from providing for people's needs and then teaching them about Jesus. It's one thing, though, to, you know, go to Haiti and, you know, do your ministry there and leave and come back to the United, to the United States. So what led you to establish a permanent ministry in Haiti? Well, you know, my wife and I had committed to uh, move overseas when our daughter went to college. And so we really thought it would be one of the countries we work in in Africa. But Haiti was so much worse, uh, needed, had so many more needs that we decided to go to Haiti. And it's been a fantastic move. It's been uh, not without challenge, not without struggles. Uh, there's a lot of struggles here. Uh, just uh, living among the poor, uh, you know, next in their neighborhoods, next door to them, uh, can be quite a struggle. Uh, being in a place without uh, basic necessities. But the Lord just blesses that. That's one of the things that is so incredible about His grace. Is His grace is, uh, is immeasurable, and it's unlimited, and it's boundless. And so... Uh, we see His grace and His mercy on a daily basis. You know, part of the work that we do as Christians is to go out and to tell other people about Jesus Christ and to heal the brokenhearted. What has been the most rewarding aspect of your work there and the most frustrating? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, that's a good question. You know, you know, from a reward standpoint, it's so amazing. We started a church last year. We have over 300 people uh, coming to this church on a regular basis, baptized over a hundred people uh, this last year. And uh, it's just so amazing to see the hunger for Jesus Christ that these people have uh, and the sincerity that they approach Jesus with. Uh, it's just absolutely incredible. Uh, and that to me is, uh, is just a, a great reason to do this. You know, there's a lot of frustrations. Uh, it's hard to get much done. I'm, I'm sort of a type AAA personality as most surgeons are, and so you have to check that at the, at the airport uh, when you come in because uh, getting things accomplished can be a little bit difficult. But the Lord's kind. You know, He provides mm -hmm. for all of our needs, and uh, He provides for all the needs of the Haitians as well. Well, tell me, what do you want viewers to know most about serving there in Haiti? You know, Jesus said he came to give life and give life abundantly. And, you know, we understand that in the United States because most people in the United States experience abundant life. But it's not just for people in the United States. It's for people all over the world. And so many people uh, throughout the world don't have clean water. They don't have enough to eat. Uh, they don't have access to medical care. And that, that piece of abundant life is missing for them. And we feel like that's why Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. 
And because it's our job, it is our, uh, it's the work that we've been given to do to go out and show these people abundant life and share with them the abundant life of Jesus Christ. And it's every Christian's responsibility to do that. Tell me a little bit about the images we're seeing right now on the screen. Well, we have a maternal health program. We have 350 women presently in this program. Uh, most births here in Haiti are, are occur at home, and that's a mud hut with no one attending them. And so uh, we provide uh, for the ladies' medical needs. We feed them a meal every day, give them vitamins, uh, and then deliver their babies as well. And so uh, we have reduced the perinatal mortality rate in our area by two-thirds, uh, just by doing this simple thing. The images you see now, we have an at-risk program that takes care of the mentally and physically handicapped. And uh, these people are turned out in Haiti and they're not cared for. And so uh, we provide them shelter and food and clean water and medical care as well. Well, Dr. Vanderpool, I know you are a very busy surgeon. For those who can't go or give, how can they best pray for it, Live Beyond? You know, we covet people's prayers. Uh, we need people's prayers so badly. And if you'll go to our website, livebeyond.org, you can see how to get involved. Uh, we use uh, volunteers throughout the world. If you're interested in, in participating financially, we have a way to give. Uh, we're building a surgical hospital right now that uh, will be the first of its kind in this area. And we're very excited about that. And we need partners to help us complete that task. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today. I'm going to let you go. I, like I said, I know you are very